This is Brooke Drum with PrinterBot.com and we've got our bot taken out of the box. We've got the simple um, plugged in, plugged in our computer. We've already loaded the software. We've already verified the first moves. It does move in XYZ. But before we try print, um, I wanted to make sure that you knew how to calibrate your hot end. Now, what am I talking about? It sounds fancy. Here's what I'm talking about. There's a little math that the firmware, which is the software that lives on the, the electronics down here, there's a little bit of math that we have to put in here. Very simple number. All you have to do is put in a number. That number is going to represent the distance that it, the computer needs to know how far away this tip in the end will be above the printing surface so that that first layer really has good stick but it's not smooshing it around too much. We want our print to have to stick really well on that first layer so that the rest of it can print out without it getting knocked off or just falling off or whatever. So, so we're calibrating the height of the sensor so that it will know where to start. I downloaded firstcube.g. I already have it loaded into my software and I have purposefully set the printer a little high to show you what it looks like when you try to print something in your probe, uh, the math in there is, is wrong. Before print, we've got a little bit of code set in there that says home, uh, that says uh, home X, home Y, and then do uh, what's called, it's a G code, but anyway, just is testing the bed to make sure it knows if there's any little leanings at all um, to this bed, it knows how it leans. So, it's printing and it's too high. So what's happening? It's just kind of like coiling up. It's not sticking well at all. That was the outside of the cube. Now it's printing the cube. Squiggly little lines that have no stick whatsoever. That's the telltale sign of a print or of a printer bot that is set up with, with the probe too high. So. I'm going to stop that. It always has to finish its commands. I've already hit the button. Okay, now it's done with those last commands. Now I'm going to go motors off because remember it won't move until I hit motors off. And now you can kind of see what that looks like. Uh, it's just real squiggly and in fact it's super easy to get off the bed. It just kind of comes off with hardly even much force at all. Now the opposite would be it's so smushed down so hard I got to get like a chisel to get that thing off, you know. But so I um, I cheated. I set it high purposefully to illustrate this point. Now in your software program, here's how you make it start lower. I'm in my software. I am in where I can type in some commands. It looks like a little terminal window, so it's a little geeky here. It's a one-time setup. M five, capital M, uh, 501, we'll read you a bunch of settings and it's going to look like gobbledygook right off the bat, but the very last one that it shows here, it's reading out, um, M501 displays the settings that you have in here. My setting, this last one, M212, 212, all capital letters, M212, it says space X20, space Y zero, so it's talking about X and Y, and it's describing where that sensor is in space, right? Here's the one I want to know, Z, negative 0.4, all right? So negative 0.4, I want to go closer to the bed, so I'm going to add to that number, because I want to get closer to the bed. So I'm going to say, capital M, 212, capital Z, negative, I'm just going to go a little bit, 0.6. So I was at point, negative 0.4, now I'm at negative 0.6. I hit enter or send. M500 saves it. M501 verifies that it, it saved the command. So I'm going to print this, but that 0.2 that I added on is 0.2 of a millimeter. 
So, can you show me how much 0.2 of a millimeter is? I can't. So, it's going to look very much the same. But I just want to show you the difference. So you can kind of get a feel. You've never done this before, so you need to know how to do it. So here we have... Now it's doing the same thing. It's not squiggly around as much, you know? Like this was really squiggly. Can you believe that 0.2 millimeters makes a difference? I'll let it go on the cube just because I want to see. I just watched it. That is better, but clearly we're not there yet. I hit pause. It finished its commands. Motor's off. I'll move it out of the way. Little, it's a little more solid. It's holding together. Um, it's kind of all connected, right? So that's definitely better than it was before. Let me go do it again. Now, repetition here. So here I am, M212 space, capital Z, negative point, guess where I'm going, point 0.8, enter. M500 to save it, M501 to check, oh, it saved it, we're good to go. Now I'm gonna reprint again. So I'm ratcheting it down a little closer from what was clearly too, way too high, to like, where is that perfect stick? That perfect, you know, not so close it's gonna smush and possibly scratch something if I move it around in between a print or whatever. High enough that it's got room to come out and low enough to press down it for enough stick. Okay, now it's starting to get smooth. Again, you see the last one. By the way, it's, it's doing a, what's called a uh, skirt or brim, I forget. <laughs> anyway, it's drawing this line around uh, this cube that I'm printing to prime the pump. If you go to an old well back in Kansas and you pump the well, you're pumping that well to get the water started. We're getting the filament started so that it can print. Now, man, it's really starting to look pretty cool, but it's so far up. Um, it's coming out in a cylinder and those cylinders aren't smushing together to make a solid layer. So we're getting closer. I'll pause. It stops. Motor's off. Move it out of the way. We're getting very close. But we're not there yet. M212 space Z negative 1. Enter. M500 to save it, M501 to see if the save took, yep, we're good. Still not there, I can tell right away, it's not smushing, smushing together, I won't even waste your time. Pause, and M212, capital space, capital Z, negative 1.2, now we're really honing in on it, M500, M501. Now we're starting to look like something there. The reason I know is uh, the two lines pass beside each other and it almost forms a solid, but not quite. It's actually going to stick pretty good, but I can see that when I look at the lines, there's a little bit of air in between them. It's not taking a cylinder um, and laying two cylinders beside each other, they won't touch, but if you take that cylinder and smush it down a little bit, then it'll overlap the smushed cylinder beside it, you know, and then you got a solid layer. M212 space Z negative 1.4, enter M500, enter M501. I think we may have it. When it first comes out, it might look a little light. It might take a full path around that cube before it really starts to flow and prime that pump. So it does that two or three times on this particular print, and then it goes to actually do the object that we're printing itself after that skirt. Now we got a solid piece going there. And we are off and printing. We've calibrated that Z height for the auto level. It's going very well. Now we're ready to move on to 
some things, uh, you know, greater prints other than a cube. But um, good luck taking care of your printer by calibrating that Z before you print your first object.